Hello everyone, Cat McBuffin here, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Crash with Sanity. Last time, we humiliated the crap out of Cortex by, uh, by skating on him, sliding down a hill. And in this episode, we're going to continue into Engine's Battleship, which is a surprisingly difficult level. But before we do that, we're going to be tempted by a ton of these, um, these... Uh, little temptations here. There's only a couple of them I will actually fall for. Not that one. That one's way too hard. But there are. Uh, there is an, uh, uh, some extra lives. And whoop! Up! Uh, whoop! Up! Uh, okay, there we go. There are some extra lives in Akuaku Mask. Gotta be very careful because these nitros are very explosive. Through here, please. Oh, it disappeared on me. What the crap? That's dumb. We really need that. We really needed that, but that's okay. We have a gratuitous amount of lives for the time being. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get through without too much difficulty. We're gonna find out in a second here, though. Let's go on. I love this track, too. Once it starts up. There. Ah. Oh, the crap. I keep missing those stupid things. Okay, now I need to be wary of these flying rhinos. Okay, let's go. Usually we'll miss them though, so that's okay. Just keep on going. And. Oh! Calm down. Because, you see, Engine still thinks that uh, Cortex is against Crash, so he's going to do everything in his power with all these missiles and explosives and whatnot to stop us. But we're better than that. We can, we can take him. So, we're going to climb up here. Kill you. Surprisingly easy, I might add. And for some reason, some of these missiles have freaking bouncy pads in them. I'm not sure why that is. And there are a ton of these rats hanging around, so let's kill them as we go along. Ow. Screw you, sir. Up. There we go. Nothing too difficult so far. But there are two... Oops. Two moments in particular that I'm not looking for. Actually, more like two and a half, because one of them is only kind of difficult. Um, that is going to come up sooner or later. I just got dead. Oh! I love that sound he makes. I don't know why. Oh. What? What? What just happened? Did I die? What? What was that? I think I just lost a life for watching a cutscene. That's mean. That, that's cheating. I call shenanigans. Oh. So many weird things happening in this game lately. I don't know what the deal is. Oh well. We'll just keep. G uh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh! We're just gonna keep watching that. That's great. It's so light and cheery. Uh, be careful with those. Okay, let's try this again. Depth perception, don't fail me now! Okay. Because sometimes that can be difficult in this game. I'm not quite sure why. Well, it's difficult in general to have depth perception for video games, considering it's actually a 2D screen that you're looking at it on. So you now all that depth is just implied, it's not actually there. So that can be difficult. Now we need to walk across this this moving platform. So we don't hit our faces into fire. That'd be bad. Okay. Getting all these Wumpa fruitses and moving on to the next room. Okay, let's do this. Got checkpoints, that's good. We have to ride on these planks. Cross over to the other side. I like that mechanic, it's cool. Just jump on while it's moving. You could also get that gem, but I'm not going to. An extra life, I'll take it. For certainly. Forsooth. 
almost died there. That was crazy. Okay, I think yeah, this this room is sucks. This room in particular. Lock it down so we don't fall in the electricity. This is like some chemically charged water of some sort. I'm not sure what purpose this has on a boat, but I'm sure it's something. Anyway, we need to uh, be able to walk across these moving platforms as they're spinning. Go, go, go. And uh, hopefully not die, because this looks quite volatile. Go, go, go. Well, I almost died there. And let's go up. And I died. Wow. Holy crap. That was dumb. That was dumb and stupid and dumb and I should feel bad. I can't believe I just did that. I was like, okay, we're good. We didn't die. Oh. Jeez. This is where it begins. It was easy so far, but not anymore. Oh, well. I'm really not looking forward to the next section after after the, uh, the iceberg lab one but that will come when it comes anyway anything else in here I don't think so okay oh yeah this room sucks too if I remember correctly uh, yeah we're just gonna go not gonna worry about those crates Getting lots of lives though, and I'm happy for that. We got an Uka. Uh, I keep confusing the two. I don't know how I'm doing that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pro. Total pro, yo. And I'm never saying that again. Okay, go this way. Train's leaving the station. Okay. Uh, what do we got? We're here to blow these things up. And blow up that, uh... Oh, oh, I'm invincible. You can take advantage of that somehow. I'm not quite sure how because it's only platforming right now. Yeah, uh, it was great. Totally made complete use of that. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. I think we're at the part that one of the more difficult parts of this. Oh no, we have to do this first. Okay. We're on to another battlefield where we have to fight Engine himself. Okay, we gotta destroy Engine's crow's nest. And it's pretty simple. All we just all we have to do is just run around in circles while he's shooting these missiles. And then after he's done doing that, he's going to toss a TNT at us. He's got to stand by one of these, these log spiky things. Oh, wow, I, he missed. Or rather, I missed. Are you going to do it again? Nope, you're going you're gonna to do your missile thing. But yeah, we got to blow up those different, those three. Oh, whoop, I fell off. How did the hell did I just do that? Oh well. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta blow up those legs and he'll fall down. This is a really cool looking battlefield too, I gotta say. I love the, the designs for these battlefields. I, I, I can't help it. They're awesome. So we're gonna avoid some more missiles. Missiles, 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 missiles. Missiles. Okay, now throw your thing. I'm gonna stand right up against this thing. There we go. If that doesn't blow it up, I don't know what will. Good. Okay. Two more times then. So, same thing again. It's an, it's an easy boss fight. So it can hardly even be considered a boss fight. Because engine doesn't directly hit us. He's just being stupid and throwing missiles and TNT crates at us. Gotta be right in this leg's grill. Right up in it. Cool. Okay, one left. Missiles are so inaccurate. 
Okay. Toss it at me. Yo, 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 yo. There he goes. And we're falling too. Ah! Yeah, try to fly crash. That that'll work. Now this part is difficult. Ah, yummy fresh meat for my pot. <laughs> I love the way he says that. Fresh meat for my pot. So he's go he's gonna try and chase us. This walrus guy. I forget what his name is. Huh? Yeah, sneak in that that extra life there. Oh, a gem too. Oh, he's close. He's very close. Dang it. Oh, he got me. Masks don't matter in this case. If he catches up to you, you're dead. Oh, you're fresh meat for my pot. I just love the way he says that. And then I'll be like, come back here, naughty meat. Boom! See? Boom! I don't know why he says it, but it's funny. He's a very Scottish walrus, apparently. We're just gonna keep jumping because, oh, I think jumping over him uh, gets him less close to us than spinning does. I don't know how that works. But we're just gonna keep going, and every time we uh, go through a door, then we blocked him out. But I think he's gonna come back in a second here. Yep, there he is. He just rammed right through that door. This guy is bulky as fuck. Okay, here again. Whoop. Dang it. It's okay. We're good. The problem with running into those crates is that all of them look green in this light. So... I, I'm trying to, like, avoid all of them. Like, see, I just jumped over that because I thought it was nitro. It's okay. Oh, I died again. Dang it. I was, like, right against the corner there. That shouldn't have counted. Dang it. Whoa, that was close. He's gonna keep jumping over everything. Did he just have like a little seizure there? That was weird. Whoa, that was nitro. And he's just not phased by this at all. He's just gonna plow right through all these things. Because he's ridiculous. Really hate this chase scene. It's hard as crap, but I think we've done it. Yes, awesome. Okay. See a whole bunch of these TNTs. No, what are we gonna do? Uh oh. Oh no. It's Vietnam all over again. <laughs> the rats are leaving the sinking ship. So they are. Tell us where the treasure is, and we'll let you go. Silence, it seems. Oh. Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. Embryo, get changed. Okay. So we have a reoccurrence of some other old bosses. We got Embryo from the first Crash Bandicoot. Or maybe Crash Bandicoot. No, the first one. And we have um, Entropy from Crash 3, which, if you remember, I fought him all that time ago in my first ever Let's Play. Hard to believe that was over a year ago now. But anyway, this, this, this boss fight gave me a ton of trouble when I, when I had first started out. And I completely screwed it up already. What you're supposed to do is... Uh, we're just gonna have to let him go, because there's no way I'm gonna make that. Okay, cool. Okay, so what you actually have to do is... Okay, he's, he's given us another chance. Cool. After uh, Embryo's done bouncing around as his frog self... Um... Freaking... Freaking, freaking, frick. Uh, Entropy is going to come around here. He's gonna break the... this... island-looking thing. Into pieces and we have to hit him. We have to jump around these... the bits he creates pretty quickly and in a certain way so that we can come up to him later and 
Uh, that was a terrible explanation of that, but you kind of see what I mean as I'm doing this. You gotta walk around the edge here, and then after a while, come back in through here. There we go. Okay, now we go up and hit him. And he's going to recreate the island. And okay. Now we have to run away from Embryo again. I love this song too. I can't. <laughs> all of them are so good. I told you that in the first episode. They're all great. There you go. I think that that is the end of, of Entropy. And up comes Embryo and he shoots us away. And there we go. Okay, we got through and we got through uh, Engine's battleship, and we have six crystals now. So now what do we do? Well, I guess it's time to go up to the Psychotron then. But we're gonna do that in the next episode of Let's Play Crash to Insanity. Thank you for watching. This has been Catman Ruffin. I'll see you again next time.